here at Northwest. Let's start with chorus. Um, this is a year-long class, so if you really like singing, this is the class for you. You do not have to audition to be in chorus, you just need to like music, singing, and you have to have the desire to do more with music other than just singing along with your favorite artist on Spotify or something. The biggest question I get from students is, do I have to sing a solo? And the answer is no, you do not ever have to sing a solo in chorus. I do give students um, that want to sing by themselves the opportunity for solos, but that's only if they want to. Now, in a non-pandemic time, we go on field trips to sing at All County Chorus, Carowinds, Assisted Living Homes. Um, we sing at the high school. We sing at Great Wolf Lodge during the holidays. So if you really like singing, just sign up for 7th or 8th grade vocal music. Now, for 7th and 8th grade theater arts or drama, this is also a year-long class. So if you want to learn more about how to perform a role in a play or a musical, this is the class for you. We present at least one play, sometimes two every year, and in non-pandemic times, we present a music to the, to the community and to your friends and family. This is a small class, so there's only a limited number of students that can be in theater arts, and therefore you do have to audition for me. If you're in the sixth or seventh grade this year, and you have not had me as one of your teachers this year, you need to search for a minute long monologue for middle schoolers in any search engine, practice it, then do a video recording of yourself acting out that monologue. A monologue is a short play for one person, by the way. Uh, my e email address can be found on the faculty web pages under Encore Teachers and then Ms. Cook, and that is where you'll find more information about um, sending that video recording to me. I also have these instructions on that web page, and if you can't do a recording on a phone or on your Chromebook, come see me sometime um, during a convenient time for your teacher. I'm in Mobile Unit 2, and we'll work something out. Um, if you're in the sixth grade this year and you have had my class, you do not have to audition. We've already covered that in class. And I'll post your name in the sixth grade building above the water fountain so you can go ahead and sign up for theater. I also have that on my faculty webpage. Now feel free to email me with any questions. Hi, uh, my name is Mr. Call and I am going to be your CTE teacher. Uh, if you are a seventh grader, I have two courses that I offer. One is Computer Science Discoveries 2 and the second is Exploring Engineering Design. Um, in Computer Science Discoveries 2, uh, it doesn't matter if you have taken Computer Science Discoveries 1 uh, with me previously or not because in Computer Science Discoveries 2, uh, we're going to be starting from, again, a little, we'll cover a little bit of the basics again just as a refresher and then we'll go into, again, we'll go in depth into creating games and animation and also maybe creating our own websites if time permits. And that's my uh, Computer Science Discoveries 2 course. And the other option is uh, Exploring Engineering Design. Uh, that course is a little different. We do a little bit of more hands-on projects. We learn a little bit about the problem solving process and how do we use that in when we are trying to solve a problem. And most likely we're gonna be building a catapult and how do we kind of like fix it as we, as we do our research on that. And that's for my seventh graders. For my eighth graders, uh, you again have computer science discoveries tools. And again, you don't have to have taken it before in sixth grade or seventh grade. We're gonna do the same things as I just mentioned. And my second course uh, for my eighth graders is uh, exploring technological systems. Uh, this is, uh, again, you don't need to have taken exploring engineering design in seventh grade. Uh, you're going to be learning a little bit more about robots and about like uh, robotic systems and how they interact with each other. So a robot has a sensor system. It also has a, a, a motion system and how do those two interact and what are some of the problem solving techniques that we've learned, we're gonna apply them to this. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me uh, via email. My information is on our uh, school website and I look forward to seeing you in class. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mr. Modlin, um, teaching health science and biotechnology for my 7th and 8th graders. If you're going into 7th grade, you'll be in my Exploring Health Care 
uh, careers class where we'll look at different careers in the healthcare industry. We'll look at the skeletal system, muscular system, and even the nervous system, and let you get a little feel about all that. If you're a rising seventh grader going into eighth grade, you'll be in my biotechnology class where we'll learn about cells, we'll learn about how our body works, um, we'll also learn about different ways that biotechnology has impacted us through agriculture, through the medical, the forensics, and even other careers out there. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Parker here, the band director at Northwest Middle. I just wanted to encourage all rising 7th and 8th graders to sign up for band. Something different about this upcoming year, the 2021-22 school year, is we're opening band up to anybody who wants to join. Whether you took band as a 6th grader or a 7th grader, it doesn't matter whether you have an instrument or not. It does not matter. We will work out all those details. If you want to join band, now's the time. So make sure you sign up for band on your schedule. If you have any questions about it, stop by the band room and ask me. I'm more than happy to help you out or have you or a parent email me. Uh, but make sure this is the year that you sign up for band. We're taking everybody. Come one, come all, sign up for band. Hello Northwest Titans. Um, I want to do an outline of some of the classes uh, that I teach. So um, for sixth graders, and seventh graders, you have an opportunity to take uh, keyboarding. And keyboarding teaches you the proper form and um, technique to increase your speed and accuracy. And of course, that's an important course because uh, most everything that we do is on the computer. Uh, for seventh graders, you also have an opportunity to take introduction to office productivity. And that covers all of the um, office programs like Microsoft uh, Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And so you're going to get experience using all three of those, which will also help you not only um, in high school, but in um, college as well. Uh, I also teach uh, business and entrepreneurship and uh, that class uh, really focuses on the different functions of business. So um, the different elements uh, that make, make up a business and so we talk about those, but also we talk about um, entrepreneurship. And so entrepreneurship is really, um, uh, it, it, it exposes you to a lot of different ideas and um, helps you kind of hone in and, and cause you to think maybe more about uh, what you want to do in the future. Um, you might want to open up your own business uh, or you might be working for a small business owner. And so uh, we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship and um, hopefully expose you to uh, different ideas and uh, possibly open up your mind for what you might want to do in the future. All right, hey guys, it's Miss Trozy. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about art. So for my rising sixth and seventh graders, I have art for a whole semester instead of for your nine weeks. And in that 18 weeks, <laughs> we are going to explore a lot of different projects, a lot of different mediums and art history. During that time, you'll do about eight to 10 projects or sometimes a project a week. My rising seventh graders, you have the option to take regular art or advanced art and yearbook. Now yearbook is gonna be a new class offered and it's going to be year long with advanced art kind of meshed in. So you will be responsible for art projects as well as being comfortable enough to take pictures of our entire school, sports teams, and all of our Titan activities.